In these challenging times, though the government and the administrations are doing much to reach out to the poorest of the poor in the society, still many shall fall through the cracks. Right now, our volunteers in the region are uh, serving a certain number of people cooked meals. In this period, it's my commitment that people should not die of starvation. And uh, it's extending into various other aspects, not just about giving food, because this year, kick-starting rural education in Tamil Nadu is going to be a big challenge. With that intent, we are putting out a painting that we called Bhairava, which was done in the honor of uh, our Bhairava, who unfortunately was the first victim in the ashram of this virus. He did not die of virus, but because of this virus, we could not get a veterinarian to attend to him, so he passed away. Bhairava, the most handsome bull you could imagine, he's been with us for many years. So I thought, in honor of him, I will do an artwork. What exactly I'm going to do, the picture is not clear in my head yet. But this is in ho honor of uh, Bhairava, the wonderful and gentle beast that he was. <laughs> Everybody loved him. Well. This is cow dung. Long time since I handled it. When I lived in the farm, it was quite normal to, you know, do the floor and other things with this. In a pastoral culture, cow dung was used in multiple ways to disinfect the homes, as manure, as fuel, medicinal values, cow and cattle were so much absolute part of this culture and its wealth at one time. Wealth was not measured in terms of land because there was plenty of land. It is how many cattle you have, that was your wealth. No, nice to be handling sacred cow dung. Because we even make vibhuti out of it. I hope I'll come up with something wonderful in honor of uh, Bhairava. I, I hope I can do some justice to the beautiful beast that he was. So we're putting up this painting for uh, an auction mm, because we need the money. The entirely, it's a very organic painting, it will last better than acrylics, it will last forever.